I've neglected this part of my life for a very long time. January, I think, was the last time I was out. And when you miss something and miss people that you associate with that thing for such a long time, you kind of miss them and you realise how much they mean to you. So I've been meaning to get back to uh, getting out bikepacking and all that and spending some time with some special people. However, none of them were available. So I have to spend today with... Oh well, somebody's got to fill in, don't they? And uh, hiding around the corner is <laughs> her wife. Yes, my wife, his wife, her <laughs> wife. <laughs> That'll be me, yes. Yes, have a nice time. Where are we? Vander Arms. This is where you keep the beach. Maybe. Oh, you're invited, sir. <laughs> That's son number two. Uh, handsome boy. Sorry, but I'm, I'm the best son, anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ricky Bobby, number one. Nadine, say hi to YouTube. <laughs> I hope we get commissioned. It's a like very kind young man here. Yeah. <laughs> has bought us this bike and, and a cob of oh. but he's forcing these shotties on here, isn't he? Yeah, they're really good though. Get done, yeah? Are we doing a wee toast, eh? Come on in. What are you calling? What? What you calling? What's the toast? Uh, Solange. Hi. Solange. Oh, they're good, eh? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Watch oh, young. <laughs> in 1983, I joined the RAF with this that's boy's right. dad. Dance. And and this boy here, young Michael O'Donnell, is now going to show us how to put away one of these shots. Get it, didn't you? Thank you So this is an old salmon bothy where the old fishermen used to stay while they netted boar's head rock which is just the other side of the trees in the, in the uh, sea there. Been derelict for many years but they fenced it off now. Are you going in? I think I'll give it a miss. By some weird coincidence of people that camp together all the time using the same gear, we're both on Big Agnes Coppice bars tonight. UL1, Rob's in there. I've got a new mat. Yeah, I've got a new mat to test tonight. That is the uh, light tour. If you watch YouTube, you'll have seen these all over the shop. It's a silver thing with an R value of about five or something. A uh, Thermarest cheap replacement, supposedly. Uh, I'm going to give it a wee go. Yeah, I watch YouTube and I fell for it. I bought one. On your knees again. On the knees again, giving a blowjob. Right. 
Okay, Rob's cooking some pasta. We've actually got some auroras going on at the moment, so I've set up time lapse. Hopefully, catch some of them. Uh, Ale watch for tonight. For me, all vocation. We have Oraki at 8%. Mm -hmm. We have Maple Peak and Pie at 10%. And another maple pecan, pecan pie at 10%. Now, that, I thought that would be enough. But I had four pints on the way here in the, in the brander in Mossy. So for tea, I have pasta bolognese. I cook it on the jet boil. It is the last day of August. And what better way to spend the last day of August than half of it waiting to try and get Oasis tickets for your missus and failing badly and the other half with a migraine but I decided to come out anyway and here we are well cool chances are if you've ever watched any of my wild camping videos before you know that I am an advocate for power to weight ratio when it comes to beer. If you're going to carry it in, you might as well make it worth it. So I've got 10% today, but I think that might be a little bit too strong. There's a magic number when it comes to bike packing as to the alcohol content. And I think that number is 6. 6%. 6 is your mum's favourite number. She likes it stronger than six, or longer than six anyway. But, aye, ten's a bit strong. Well, I made a wee song. Credits go to Ailstone. But, your less than six can eat a bag of dicks. Your less than six can eat a giant bag of dicks. Flange. I've had such a busy summer with the festivals and stuff that I haven't been able to get out and do this and it's not until you get back doing it you realise what you're missing this is fantastic getting out in the woods and just sitting there with a beer no campfire tonight because it's August who needs a campfire in August although it has been pretty cool it was minus 4 last night in Carbridge it was 8 o'clock it was 8 degrees last night in Elgin you know, it's pretty cold for August and we're into September and the frosts will start coming but uh, we don't need fires yet but just sitting out in the woods we've got almost no wind tonight and we've got the sea pounding away on the shore we've got the aurora borealis going on I've got nice beer I wish I had some good company unfortunately that's it. not to be, you can't have it all but it's nearly perfect <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't see you because it, it's, it's tracking on me. Oh, right, of course it is. Yeah. And who can blame it? <laughs> who could blame it? Well, there you are. Hello. Uh huh. I'm just here to make up numbers. <laughs> the eagle eyed amongst you, which is about one of the people that watch my videos, will realise that this is a place that we've stopped before in a gun emplacement. Well, such like Station 4, a gun emplacement. Yeah, we came back here. We were going to be up at Loch Dallas, but because I had a migraine and took me ages to get ready, I decided not to go up into the mountains and up into the hills for a, a wee fishing trip. So we decided to come somewhere closer to home. And this is the one that... that appealed the most in the end we couldn't decide where to go even after we'd set off but this is what we settled on once we had a couple of beers in Lossy Mouth did I say a couple? I mean four and some whiskies and a heap of shorts <laughs> oh dear yeah, I will be taking beers home tonight that doesn't happen very often
Some of the folk that have used this place in our absence have had a wee fire. I think there'd been a fire there before anyway. I don't approve, but it's not the worst place in the world to have one. Although I'm a bit close to the gorse here. You don't need too many sparks on the gorse to set it up. You could do a trim. Yeah. Did they kept the place tidy otherwise? That's all my mess, and that'll go with me. Even look here. Look here. Need a wee broom. Well, maybe that's how Roberta got here. I heard you. Cheeky shade. Is that your, uh, your wipes from the piss you just had out there? Look, it is, yeah, just round the corner. I was uh, fertilising the plants. <laughs> I expect that the campers that were here contained ladies because they brought ladies drinks and then left their rubbish behind. I'll take this one away for you guys. Don't make a habit of it, eh? I had brought compo breakfast of chicken, sausage and beans. But I can't be asked for that, so I've made do with a Nature Valley grain bar thing. And I've got this brunch bar thing you have. And a wee cup of tea, and that'll see us back. 27k we cycled here, so that's uh, 27k back, so that's not a... A shabby wee trip out, is it? Yeah, we'll probably go back a quick away, maybe only 20. I feel like I've gone all soft with my bivy in now. You have? Sorry. No, carry on. What are you saying, Rob? Okay, I feel like I've gone all soft with my bivy in because I haven't been in a bivy bag in ages. It's all been. well. <laughs> You've no trace. <laughs> Not even a big wet coffee stain on the floor. <laughs> but yeah, but we've been intense every time the last six, seven times. And been really been intense. In, well, it's been really intense, and really we ought to go out in a bivy bag. Some stage. Bivy one next one then. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. We're allowed to take a tarp as well. Yes. Oh, okay. That's allowed. Okay. Definitely. I haven't used my tarp, so yes, bivy and tarp. Okay. Hi. Genetic YouTube outdoorsman here. I want to show you what a lovely place I'm in. Look at it. Look how beautiful that is. Here's me in the beautiful surroundings. Look. Look at those beautiful surroundings. Aren't they beautiful? Here's me on the beautiful Murray Coast. Look at it. It's astounding. It's an amazing scenery. And this is where we camped last night. It's really nice. Look. I've got two beers to take home. I will be having words with myself for not completing my mission. Is that you? <laughs> right, that's us ready to go. Left no trace as per usual. Tidies up some shit that was left here by others and we're about to head back into the beautiful Murray Coast sunshine. Right, chop chop. Less faff. I'm ready. Because my phone big big. Looks massive. That's good. <laughs> All the more to play with. What have you got here? Yeah, yeah. He's going for it. Hopeless.
Not a handsome boy. He's a handsome boy. Bit windy today. So this was the first use of my Aero Spider Rack, which are coupled up with a couple of 20 litre out kit dry bags. Use the straps from the Aerobi cradles, or Aero cradles. Um, quite pleased with that, that's worked quite well. We'll see how we get on with that. It's too early to make an informed choice. But one bag that's got tent, sleeping bag, sleeping mat in it. And the other one's got cooking stuff and returned beer. Didn't have enough room for my chair. So I'll strap that to the front. The light tour mat was a success. Uh, a lot of people had reported that they could feel the hips touching the floor and everything through it, but I didn't have that issue. They're non 18 odd stones, so those people must have really bony hips or something, I don't know. But it was very comfy for me, I had a good night's cab. The thing I'm really pissed off about though is this, this camera, you, yeah. Oh, it's a Pocket 3 and it has a one inch sensor and it is, well, should be amazing for taking Aurora pics and things and uh, video or time lapse of the Auroras. So I set it up last night and I missed a setting and for some reason on my motion lapse that I did the uh, exposure compensation was set to minus three. So it's woefully underexposed and what should have been a brilliant display for you turned out to be a bit meh. I'll show it anyway, or you'll have seen it anyway, but yeah, I'm a bit pissed off about that. It should have been extra special and it isn't. Anyway, thanks for watching. I intend to get out on a lot more camping uh, trips now that the festival season is just about done. And uh, yeah, I'll take you along with us. Stick around. Cheers and that, bye. Here's me by a sunflower saying goodbye. What's the matter with you? <laughs> it's only natural. <laughs> yeah, but it smells like something has crawled up and died. <laughs> well, stranger things have happened. <laughs>